Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Can Blaze and welcome to another toy hunt. I went out to this Walmart, it's kind of a drive for me. And I went in through the uh, the outdoor center, the garden center, and I heard this crazy screeching noise. I'm like, what is that? It turns out there was a speaker over there. I think what it was meant to do is deter pigeons, but obviously it wasn't working because there's this pigeon just sitting there on top of the bags of dirt. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, so then I go inside and I walk past the makeup aisle and here is this bright Fortnite display. And I'm like, what is this? It's Fortnite makeup. And I'm like, why on earth would they have Fortnite makeup? Obviously there is a market out there somewhere. So if you wear makeup and you're interested in Fortnite makeup, hey, leave a comment, let me know. I get over to the toy aisle and I see this mess and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if it was customers who did this or if it was the store employees just not stocking right, but holy cow, was it ever a mess. I did find some series 20, there's some big kahunas down here and that was, that was a pretty good find. I didn't end up picking up any of them uh, because I already had them, but uh, it was still pretty darn cool. Another thing that they had that I have not seen at any of the Walmarts near my house is this Neon Nitro uh, Grave Digger RC car. I have never seen this before in my life. I did not end up picking it up. I was very, very tempted to. I may actually end up going back and getting it just because it was really cool. Anyway, onto a different Walmart. I found a few more of the Series 31 trucks. Oops, I dropped that one. <laughs> including Monster Mutt Golden and uh, Pirate's Curse, which I have not been able to find up until this point. So I finished off my collection of Series 31. I brought them all home and I enlisted my son, William, to help me open them all up. I have all of them except for one. <laughs> you might notice that the food truck there is, uh, that's uh, that's Glaze Machine. Glaze Machine is from Series 29, not from Series 31. I could not find uh, Wasabi Warrior. With Hold up there, past Toucan. You actually did find Wasabi Warrior. It just was uh, about a week after we filmed the uh, the unboxing video. So I did find, actually I found two Wasabi Warriors and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give away the second one as for the winner of this season's uh, sign up series. So if you're interested in winning a Wasabi Warrior, make sure that you sign up for our sign up series. Um, we're not going to unbox Wasabi Warrior just yet. I'm going to wait until the end of the video. Let's uh, continue on with our unboxing of Series 31. Okay, first up we've got Crush Cycle. Now Crush Cycle is, uh, I think, the Everyday Heroes is what the series was called. Got a little ASMR as he opens the box. Um, Crush Cycle is a garbage truck, and uh, the, the front of the cab looks a lot like the others, the ambulance and the school bus, but the back, of course, is a garbage truck. I really like the color scheme, the blue and the white. It just really pops, and the yellow in the back, of course, for the bumper. We got a silver chassis. I gotta get, get it straight. Silver chassis, black roll cage, blue rims, black tires, black, uh, white 3KT printing on the tires. I like it a lot. Yeah, just a really clean, really nice um, design. I like it. Crush Cycle, of course, is printed really nice. And that's Crush Cycle. All right, next up, we've got Jurassic Attack. Come on, get that open, William. <laughs> All right, here's Jurassic Attack. It gets the standard purple, and I kind of wish they would have, you know, the, uh, the new, more modern blue Jurassic Attack, the blue and green. But uh, alas, we're stuck with purple. Not that I don't like the purple. I just, I prefer the blue and the green, the more modern blue and green. And, and we've seen this purple Jurassic attack all over the place. Uh, but, uh, you know, overall it's your, your standard, um, you know, purple Jurassic attack. The printing looks really nice. White BKT printing on the tires. Uh, black tires, blue rims, just like Crush Cycle. Uh, silver roll cage again. I'm sorry, silver chassis, black roll cage. I'll get it straight one of these days. The printing on the back looks great. Jurassic Attack, really, really nice. Really clean and crisp. Um, but again, it's a it's one that we've seen before. All right, next up, Calavera. Now, Calavera is not a real truck. It's only a Spin Master truck. Uh, and this version is, it's kind of like one of those hyper-fueled. It's all pink and it's hot pink. Uh, <laughs> Calavera is not my favorite truck. Uh, I'll admit that. 
I do kind of like the uh, the Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead uh, kind of theming that it's got. Calavera printed on the back, monsterjam.com. Um, but, uh, you know, the color scheme is just kind of throws me off. <laughs> it's very, very pink. Uh, reminds me of the movie Coco, if you've seen that. That's a good movie. Um, it, it's that, that looks like uh, Ernesto de la Cruz right there in the front. <laughs> anyway, uh, there is Calavera. Uh, you know, like, like it just released a, a 124th scale of Calavera as well, and I just didn't didn't pick it up because I'm just not a fan. All right, moving on. Series 29. This is Glazed Machine. And William was pointing out that he's Series 29 and not Series 31 like the rest of the series. I know, I know that, William. Thank you. <laughs> this is the first food truck that we've been able to open, though. Uh, the food trucks in my area. This is the chase piece for the series. Um, and they just go so fast. People pick them up and they snipe them and they, they post them online at, at, at ridiculous prices. But I really like this one, this glaze machine. I was able to find it. Uh, the tires are donuts, which is stinking awesome. The, uh, the back has got donuts on it. They are their old fashioned donuts, which is my wife's favorite type of donut. And I like how there's like a strawberry cream or glaze that's coming up and put set of mud. It's awesome. So you got that, that same strawberry clean, cream color for the rims and on the inside of the tires. And of course on the top, you've got like a little cinnamon roll up there. And then of course you've got the, uh, the, the menu board here, the burnout, monster jam filled, tire shine, glaze, gas, guzzler, oh, monster jam filled. I get it. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, one for three ninety nine, six for $10 to 12 for $19. Uh, does the math add up on that? Yeah, it does add up on that. That's pretty good. Uh, anyway, I, I really like the food truck idea, and, and Glaze Machine is is a pretty awesome truck. I thoroughly have enjoyed uh, unboxing, and it's a hefty truck. I'll tell you what, it is definitely uh, a thick boy. <laughs> it's heavy, and uh, it, it works really well. William enjoyed playing around with the, the menu board. Anyway, moving on, the next truck we've got Alien Invasion. <laughs> Come on, get that package open, William. There we go. Alien Invasion. Now, this is uh, this is yeah, kind of standard, but uh, we've got the white roll cage, green chassis, and green rims, which match perfectly, which it looks great. Uh, Alien Invasion is one of my favorite trucks. I wish it was still running today. Standard uh, kind of grayish body with the, uh, the smoky glass top there. And then the Alien Invasion nameplate right there. Now, normally there's, you know, lights that are kind of going around it. And that Alien Invasion nameplate is kind of glowing. Uh, obviously, you can't do that on a die cast, but, uh, you know, it still looks pretty good. Monsterjam.com Monster Jam on the back. And no BKT printing on these tires, but overall, pretty good. No, I'm just All right, saying, moving on. We've got Monster Mutt Golden. Go, go. And this is a, a new truck for this series. Monster Mutt Golden is not a real monster truck, of course, but it is kind of in the same line as all the rest of the Monster Mutts. Kind of like Monster Mutt Husky, not a real truck, but just for Spin Master, but I like it. This one, of course, has the tennis ball in his mouth. It's which is super cute, I like it. Uh, the ears are down, tail's up. It looks a lot like Husky with the tail there. Uh, kind of blue studs on the collar, which is cool. Monster Mutt Golden on the name tag. I like it. And I like the golden brownish color on the rims, white BKT printing on the tire, and then that same goldish brown for the chassis, and then black roll cage. Really, really nice, really, really sharp. Nice entry to the Monster Mutt family. Thank you, Monster Mutt Golden. All right, next truck we got Zomber. <laughs> Yeah. All right, there we go. So zombie, this is a, a standard entry, but um, I really like the colors that they chose. They match perfectly, like the arms and the tires and the wheel well, the rims. They they all, I'm sorry, not the rims, the uh, the chass, the roll cage. They all match really, really well. They kind of look like uh, uh, an ash gray, almost like bones that have been out drying in the sun for too long. And it matches the body too, like the paint on it. It's just really good, really clean, really nice. Black chassis, black rims, and they match perfectly as well. And then we got that ash uh, gray for the tires and for the roll cage and for the body. And the arms, of course, the arms that are gonna grab you, are. <laughs> 
yellow eyes. And there's that black chassis. Thank you for showing it off, William. There's Zombie. Nice. All right, next up, another kind of standard entry into Series 31. We got Megalodon. William had troubles getting the Megalodon open. <laughs> Come on, William, you got this. There we go. Now, I mean, this is a good, clean Megalodon. If you don't have a Megalodon, definitely get Series 31 Megalodon because this is nice. It's sharp, it's clean, well put together. The colors match really, really well. We got the uh, the silver chassis black roll cage, blue rims, which don't really match the body, but it still fits thematically, I think. I think it's the same color blue as uh, Crush Cycle's blue was. Um, the printing on the side is fantastic. It's super sharp. And of course, the Megalodon body. It's the same Megalodon body that's on all of them, but it's really well put together and really nice. Good, done. Good job, Spin Master. Well done. All right, moving on. This is Pirate's Purse. If <laughs> we can get it open. Now, this one is the phased out. Uh, series line. Now, uh, Phase Out has not been my favorite, personally. I don't really like it, and this is no exception. Uh, the mismatched wheels just kind of throw me off. I don't like it. So we've got the silver wheel on the front right. We've got this kind of red wheel on the front left. And then we've got this kind of coppery. I like the way that the copper on the chassis and the silver on the roll cage match and they match the silver on the, the rims, on some of the rims, and they got the one copper rim on the back. Right, it's kind of a gold rim, actually, on the back. But now that red wheel up in the top left actually matches the bandana on Pirate's Curse very well. So the colors all match. I just, I don't know. I don't like the mismatch of the colors. It's just, I don't know, just weird. I don't really like it. And now, the one feature that all of the uh, phased out versions have is kind of this uh, printer malfunction, misalignment with the printer head kind of style. The only way that you can really see it here on Pirate's Curse though is right on the face. You can kind of see it here on the side, but uh, it, it's really, really faint and you don't really notice it too well on the side. Mostly, like I said, on the face is where you see it. That, uh, that printer mismatch that we've seen before on these phased out versions. Some people really like it, and eh, they make for interesting collector pieces. Something to talk about, I guess, but uh, eh, not my favorite. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's open up Wasabi Warrior. William was at school when I was unboxing this, so I'm doing this all by myself, and I, of course, didn't bring down my third arm to hold my camera, so I had to do it by myself. Uh, here we go. I just had to put my camera down. <laughs> anyway, here's Wasabi Warrior. I really like the uh, style. This is my favorite of all of the, the uh, food truck trucks. Uh, the the waves that are printed on Wasabi Warrior, they, they remind me of like a Japanese tattoo or Japanese art. The bottom there, the, the chassis is green just like Wasabi. The orange is kind of like a carrot that would be in like a California roll. On the top, you've got the uh, chopsticks that are going down through all of those California rolls and all the, the, the sushi there on the side. And that reminds me of like a Spam Musubi, which is really, really good. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It's good stuff, but it's in the shape of a vehicle, of course. And then on this side, we've got uh, a salmon that is swimming and then a couple more um, sushi rolls that are flying around with flames behind them. There's that Wasabi Warrior logo on the front. Looks really, really good, really crisp and clean. And let's take a look at the menu board. What do we have here? Slammin' Salmon for $8 and a Dragonoid Roll for $9, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. So yeah, again, my favorite of all of them. I love how the tires are like basically little sushi rolls and uh, just the sushi all around it. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> my favorite of all the trucks, I think. <laughs> All right, and here is William with all of Series 31, minus Wasabi Warrior, of course, because, you know, we didn't have Wasabi Warrior when we were recording this. Hey, if you want a chance to win the second Wasabi Warrior, be sure to like, subscribe, and sign up for our next sign-up series for your chance to win. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later!